Welcome to my next video about Spartacus. Today I'd like to show you how to customize a product page. So here I have my Spartacus instance running. Uh, if you don't have your own one, then go back to my previous video and install Spartacus. So let's see how currently product page looks like. So this is a default product page in Spartacus. It consists of a name, rating, product ID, price, description and images. I would like to rearrange things here, but uh, how would I like to do this? I would like to get inspired by Capybara theme. Capybara theme is a theme for storefront UI, which is a UI library for view storefront. So let's have a look at a product page in Capybara. As you can see, it's kind of similar to what Spartacus offers out of the box, but there are some slight differences, like the name is here, uh, price is here, rating is on the right, and ID is named SKU here. So I'd like to take this project as a reference to know where are we heading to. So before we start coding, I have to give you some theory about how the things are rendered in Spartacus. First, let's open the B2C layout config. You can find it in a, a source code of Spartacus. This is default configuration of uh, layout. Here I'll find product details page template. And here I can see of what slots does it consist. But we have no information about components. This information comes from the backend. So I'll open the product page again and open the network tab here and refresh the page. Let's make it bigger. And here I have the pages. In this API call, I get information about components attached to slots. So let's open it. And here I have product summary slot at the end. And the position is summary. So this is the same name as we've seen in the config here in slots. And here I can expand components. And I see what kind of uh, components does this slot consist of. Like product intro component, product images component, product summary component, and so on. And now I can uh, go to elements and see how does it, this page really look like. So let's find this page slot. So here we have this summary page slot. And inside of it, we have those components, product intro component, product images, product summary, product variants. Let's make this page a little bit bigger. So this is product intro component. This is product images component. This is product summary component. So now uh, what I will do is that I will replace those default product intro and product summary component with my custom ones. Before I replace the component, I have to find its type. So let's go back to the network tab. Let's make it bigger again. And here in product intro component, I look up flex type. Uh, this is product intro component. Usually the names are the same as here the UID and the, the type is the same, but normally we should take a look at type code or flex type. So flex type is product intro component. So this is the name that we will use to map the component. So that's for the theory. If you haven't understood it, let me know in the comments uh, or wait until the end of the video. Maybe it will uh, be more clear then. So let's open Visual Studio Code here. As you can see, we I have fresh install of uh, Spartacus. Um, if you don't have your own install, go back to the previous video. So first of all, I'll, I'll create new module. It's a good practice to, to create modules for each functionality in, in Angular. ng g module custom PDP. Uh, sometimes I'll use this uh, PDP shortcut for product details page. This is common in Spartacus and, and common commerce nomenclature. Okay, so I've created a module. Now I have to create a new component inside this module. NGGC custom PDP slash custom product intro. Okay, component was generated under the custom PDP module. We can see it was declared here. 
Now I can configure component mapping. I'll use config module with config. Let's import it from Spartax core. And here I pass some object and I'll use config typing. Config typing will help me to find what are the correct attributes of this config. I'll use CMS config type. And here in Visual Studio Code, using control space uh, hotkey, and I know what I have to configure here. So CMS components, and here I do the mapping. So let's go back to the network tab and copy the flex type. Paste it here, and now component, and here I pass the type of my custom component. And now I have to save it. And the last thing is that I have to import this module in app module after the B2C storefront module. Custom PDP module. Let's save it and see if the application was recompiled. Yes, it was. And now I can see that the product intro was uh, replaced with custom product intro works. So now I just have to adjust the template. Let's go back to Visual Studio Code and open the product intro component. Here I'd like to display some product data. Uh, but where, where to get this data? Let's go to custom product intro component TS. And here I can inject uh, a very handy service, which is called current product service. This service uh, is very useful because it uh, returns uh, an observable of the current product. And the current product is the product that user currently sees. So the service checks what the user is currently seeing and returns the given product. So let's use this service into a product observable. I'll save get current product service get product. I have to import the product model and now I can save this and in my template I can use this product because this product variable is actually an observable of product I have to unpack it or subscribe to it I'll use ng container here ng if and here I can do a thing like product uh, product observable and pass it to async pipe and then save it as product without the dollar sign at the end. So inside this uh, container, I'll, I have uh, an, a product variable available. So here, let's make a heading and display product name. And let's save it. Yes, the product name was displayed here. So what else I have to add? I would like to add price below and and rating. So let's start with a price. I'll use H3 here. And here I can select price and formatted value. Save it. And the, the price is displayed below the name as we want it. Next, the rating. Product average rating. So we have all the, uh, the, the values. Now, let's see at the project. Now I'd like to display the rating as this star indicator. Uh, but I, I don't want to write it from scratch. So I'll reuse uh, the ready-built uh, Spartacus component. 
So the component is called CX star rating and it requires rating attribute. So I'll pass here product average rating. Now Visual Studio yells that there is some kind of a problem. This is because I haven't imported this component. So let's go back to my custom PDP module and import star rating module. Now everything is fine. Let's save all. And we can see that star rating indicator is displayed. There is another attribute that I can pass to a CX star rating. It is a disabled. I don't want to use this uh, indicator to rate the product. So I uh, mark it as true. So now stars don't change as I hover over them. And now let's fiddle with the design a little bit. So I would like to move those star rating to the right. Spartacus is using Bootstrap. So I'll use Bootstrap uh, to, to make it easier to, to adjust styles here. Of course, you can use your own styles in the uh, component styles. I'll get rid of the numerical val value and wrap the product price and rating into a div. Okay, now I have to use some bootstrap classes to make it look good. First of all, I'd like to use flex display, so deflex. I would like to align item center and spread these uh, elements. So I'll use justify, justify content between. Let's save it. And now we can see that it looks quite good. What else can we add here? We can add this read all number of reviews. So let's do this. I'll use span read all product number of reviews. I, al I also have to wrap this inside a div so that it's treated by flex as a one element. So div and let's check the results. Great, right. almost like uh, in the design. Okay, our product intro component is ready. Now let's focus on product summary component. This is this part here. In our Capybara theme, we have here SKU and Variant Selector. We don't have variants for this product, so instead of that, I'll just add Product uh, Summary Description and uh, Quantity Integrator. To map the component, I'll do exactly the same thing as with the previous component, but practice makes perfect. So first, let's open the Network tab. Refer the page to get the API calls. Content slots, product summary slot, and here we are looking for component called product summary component, and let's copy its flex type. Now let's go to Visual Studio Code and generate a new component. NGG component custom PDP slash custom product. Summary. Component was generated. So now let's map it. I paste here the flex type. And here I write custom product summary component. Let's save it. And we can see that summary component was replaced. So now let's customize this component. First, we will need the product information again. So I'll inject uh, product service, current product service.
and save product observable into a variable. Okay, product service get product. And in the template, I'll subscribe to this observable in ngif using async pipe as product. So here I'll display SKU product code. And I'll use bootstrap classes to make it look nice. Let's save it. And see that SKU was dip displayed. And now I just need to display product summary. And quantity. Stock level available. So it looks similar to the design, but I would like to add this icon here. Again, I can reuse built in Spartacus component to display icon. This component lives in icon module. So I'll import it here. And in custom product summary component, I have to define icon types. icon type, which I import from Spartacus storefront. Now, in product summary component HTML, I can use CX icon type icon types dot info. Save it. And we can see that icon appeared. Uh, what where we can find icon types simply by inspecting this enum and here is a list of built-in icons so that's it our product page looks good almost like on the design there are some slight differences but the point of this video was just to show you an example how to start customizing product page i hope you can continue customizing the next components but on your own if not let me know in the comments and i'll try to help you all the source code that I wrote during this video will be uploaded to GitHub and the link you can find in the description. Give me a star if you like it. One last information, I've prepared Spartacus online training. If you are interested, contact us. See you in the next video.